Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually going to be working on our steam locomotive again. Uh, it isn't actually in the background today because for some reason I forgot about it. Um, but essentially what we're going to do today is actually a crane car. Um, I feel like it's kind of necessary in the military sometimes to have crane cars, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and uh, get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so I'm going to go ahead and just make this, uh, I'm not going to refer to anything uh, while doing this, I don't know how that's going to go, uh, but essentially, we're going to go ahead and start building, so um, let's do it. Uh, first things first, we're going to make it the same colour as every other train car we've made, uh, which is uh, like this. That is 16 blocks, let's go ahead and make it 25 altogether, there's 21 and 4, bam, there we go. Honestly, it doesn't have to be too big. Um, I might even add, add like 10 to this on the front uh, because I think that'd be pretty cool actually. So there we go. It doesn't have to be too big, but it needs to be big enough to hold a crane. Okay, so underneath this, uh, we're going to have to try and figure out where the wheels go. So let's go ahead and try and do that straight away. Uh, we're going to go for singular ones, but we're going to go with two if that makes any sense whatsoever. So two right there. Um, there we go. Actually, we're going to build them slightly apart because uh, I feel like that makes sense. And then we're going to go ahead and put a thingamabobby in there. So if we grab this, we go ahead and do this. Cut it, paste it. There we go. Grab ourselves a pivot. And we should be good to, um, I don't know, just shove this in. There we go. Merge this with this. There we go. And make it zero power. There we go. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So go ahead and cut everything. <laughs> cut everything. There we go. Go ahead and copy it. Move it backwards. Go ahead and paste it in the same as everything else. There we go. Merge this with this, and spawn it in. What does that look like? Yeah. Oh, this is going to work. You know, actually, I'm kind of thinking maybe we do the whole thing uh, as actual wheels, but I guess that doesn't matter. We don't need to do that. So, from here, we need to work out what we're actually doing. So, we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to do it on both sides, of course. Obviously, that makes sort of sense. Some sort of sense. Whack that on there, go across one and two, and go backwards like this. There we go. Go ahead and attach that onto there. Do the same thing on this side. One, two... Uh, send it across here and do this. Okay, nice. Uh, main reason for that is because I don't want to go ahead and see behind the wheels. So um, this stops that from happening. Okie dokie. I then think what we're going to do is actually go out from there. Maybe one, two, three. And this will be our edge piece. We're going to go to door. And we're going to go ahead and grab the door frame edge thingamabobby. And we're going to go ahead and do this to the rear. There we go. That's actually not too bad at all. Uh, and I think it'll work out. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Go ahead and spawn it in again. Let's see what that looks like. Yes. Okay. This is perfect. And we're going to continue with it. So, I actually kind of think maybe doing this above is maybe a nice design. Let me know what you guys think about that, but I think that works. It looks like a bit of a steel, um, a steel beam kind of thing. Uh, and that's sort of what I wanted, so it's kind of cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and fill these guys in like this, and we'll leave it like that for right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our other train car with our wood pattern, and we're going to go ahead and copy it and use it on this one. All right, guys, here it is. So we're going to go ahead and move it in and move it upwards until it is in the right place, which it is right here. So we're going to go ahead and just essentially put this in all the way to the end. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and paste a bunch of these. I'm going to merge them all in. I'm going to fill in the side pieces and we're going to go from there. All right, there we go. I've merged it all. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Spawn it in. There we go. It is a little bit higher than everything else that we've made, but I feel like it does make sense to do so. So, um, there you go. We're going to leave it quite high. We're then going to go ahead and get this color, which is going to be slightly lighter and go down the side. Uh, and again, I feel like that makes some sort of sense. And we can leave it a lot like this. Alright, so we've actually gone to this car because I do need the front end. Uh, or the back end, or whichever end we actually need. There we go, do all of this. Uh, we do actually need this bit right here. Go ahead and copy it. We're going to go ahead and load up our new crane car. Here it is. Auto save. Nope, the other one. The other one. There we go. And we're going to try and put this into position on here. Now, I don't know where it goes. <laughs> if that makes any sense, I think it goes there, but it could actually go here. It could go anywhere. I think that's right, though. So let's paste it. Uh, we'll merge this together, and hopefully that's right. I don't know. Is it in line with the wheels, or is it not in line with the wheels? I have no idea. Let's go to this one and check. So it is above the wheels. Aha! 
Okay, it's above the wheels, guys. <laughs> it's above the wheels! Okay, so, go back to this. One up from there, there we go, and paste it in there like so. Merge this with this, and that actually just makes sense. Turn it around, send it to the other side, and uh, paste it there too. Here we go. Um, do we leave it there, or do we do it in one? I think I do it in one, to be honest. So, ah, uh, no, we'll send it out. We, we will, we'll send it out. Paste it there, there we go. Merge this with this one. Merge this with this one, and go. What does that look like? Yeah, that actually looks okay, yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay, so now it is my job to try and uh, make this thing work uh, as a crane. So, uh, we're going to start from about here, delete these three in the center. There we go. Get ourselves a pivot. Yes, which is going to be... I guess we're, we're not going to have it spin all the way around, so we'll just go with one of these. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and smash this into here, like this. There we go. Okay, very nice. We're then going to go ahead and actually seal this off a little bit. So we're going to do these guys. We're going to do these guys, and that's all fine. Um, then we're going to get ourselves a winch. Which I I think we're going to use these this one um, for now, which does sort of make sense. So we will, um, and that's okay. We're then going to lead ourselves forwards from here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How do I want to do this, actually? I might do it here. I am. I'm going to do it from here. So we're going to put that in there, like so. We're then going to change to green, because some of our cars are green. That's okay. And we're going to do... Oh, this, I think. I think something like this for which... Yes. Going to attach this to the bottom of there and send it up to that. That's good. And then the actual bit of the... Mm. Maybe not those. Maybe actually these. Oh, I don't know. Maybe just like that. Yeah, okay, just like that. We're then going to delete these guys on the sides and put some pivots in. And this is just how it's going to work. Um, which honestly is probably okay. There we go. Whack these guys together right there. Merge them together as well. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and smash one of these guys onto the back of here like this. Because, again, we can. We're going to go ahead and do these guys. Um, which, actually, maybe not one of these. Maybe, actually, one of the slightly smaller ones like this. Yes. Okay, that does make sense. We're then going to go ahead and paint these guys in like so. Bam. And this bit. There we go. And leave it like that for now. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. This is totally going to work. Okie dokie, so now what do we actually do in this situation? Well, I think uh, we're going to have to build this into here, so we'll do these guys on both sides of this, um, just like so. We're then going to go ahead and send this upwards, uh, quite high, let's go with that much. We're going to do this bit too, so up to there, and I don't, I don't actually know how I want it to be. I'm not, well actually, maybe we needed to build it further forwards. Yeah, I think we're going to have to build it going in going in straight. So, with that being said, we're going to have to do this. And also this. There you go. And then we're going to have to go in a straight line from there forwards. <laughs> uh, which is kind of interesting, but also kind of, I don't know, weird at the same time. Let's go and attach those guys together all the way around. Uh, we will put some of these in. So we'll do that there like that. And we'll actually do two of those. And... I guess we need to do a similar thing right here. So we're just going to go ahead and do it. Because we can. Like this. There we go. Uh, and then we'll have to do the same thing, or a similar thing, on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. It's odd. But it works. So there we go. Good. Okay. So from the top, we do actually want to make it change directions. So... Oh no. We can't do it if it's laying down. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's really frustrating actually. But we'll delete these guys right here. Add ourselves a little bit of a winch uh, in there as well, because, again, we sort of can. Uh, let's put this piece in here. Go ahead and grab these guys and have it go that direction, just like that. Um, and I think we could probably get away with just doing this. So these guys forwards like so. There we go. Uh, go ahead and do these guys. Mm, and maybe it does need to be these, actually. Go forwards again like that. There we go. Delete these ones on the underside. Do this, going backwards into there. Attach these guys together right here. And, I don't know, is that big enough for a crane? I feel like it's just not. <laughs> I feel like that's honestly not big enough for a crane, but I don't know, maybe. Maybe. So whack that on there like so. Okay, get ourselves a little bit of a, um, 
I don't know, maybe a seat or a handle, maybe? I don't know. How would you actually use one of these? Handle? Handle? Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. We're just going to go ahead and shove that, actually. Mm. No, we're going to have a seat. We'll put a seat in there. Yes. Okay, a little seat. It can go right in there like that. All we need to do is have a WNS. Um, do, 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 do. WNS is for up and down. There we go. And have an A and D for left and right. And honestly, that should work. So give it infinite electricity so it can move. And let's see what we can do with it. As long as we can lift things onto the train itself, that's fine. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Very cool indeedy. And then what we'll do also, just to add to the uh, the detail, just a little tiny bit. Uh, we're going to go with rope from here to there and spawn it in. Yes. Cool. Oh, you know what I'm going to do, actually? Um, I'm going to uh, modify this slightly. So... We're going to go ahead and take this entire front end uh, to here. Um, yeah, okay. We're going to go ahead and actually grab it all the way to about there. Okay. Go ahead and cut it. Move it a lot further this way to about there. There we go. Okay, paste that in. Grab it from here down to there all the way to the other side. Go ahead and copy this. Move it this way. Like that. There we go. Go ahead and paste this into there. Go ahead and attach these guys together as well. So this bit and this bit. Merge that to there. Spawn it in. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, okay. That looks a lot better because it's a lot longer. Um, and it should work. There we go. So we can lift it up and we can lower it down. That's fantastic. And we can also turn it side to side as well just in case we need to. Very odd, but I think that's okay. Okay, so what else do we actually need to do with this then? I think uh, it might be an idea to actually uh, put WNS on sticky. There we go. Uh, and A and D we can leave as is. That's okay. Um, I don't know what, how I feel about actually adding a box, um, a box around the driver. Uh, whether that's like a cool idea, whether that's a silly idea, I don't actually know. Um, but let's go ahead and do these. Mm, yeah, okay, let's try it. Let's try it. We can maybe add a door to it and that'll be fine. But we're going to go ahead and do this. There you go. We're going to delete these guys. Attach one of these to the front of there. Put these two right here. One and two. And then we could actually just do this. And this, obviously. Oh, it's a bit low. It's too low. It's too low. All right, whack this on here like this. Do it across the top. Go ahead and send this from there all the way to there. That looks about right, I would say. And then windows, we can just shove them in, and uh, it'll be great, actually. Okay, black. Yes. One there, and one there. That's how I want it to be. That's good. We're then going to go ahead and put a full window across the front. Just like so. And on the underside, I think we might do... Uh, I don't know where it is, but essentially these guys. Um... Like that, reaching inwards. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, you spawn it in. Let's see what that looks like. I think I like it. I do. I feel like that's okay. All right, last thing then is to actually attach something like uh, this to the front end of here. Uh, just like so. There you go. That's it. That's all I want. All right, cool. So um, I'm actually really happy with this. Let's go ahead and save it really quickly as crane car. Excellent. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and... Spawn in the train, uh, the, the actual locomotive, and put this behind it and see what it looks like. Okie dokie, so there's the locomotive itself, there's the uh, the tender, and here is the little train car, or the crane car, I should say, uh, in order to actually lift things on and off the train. So we can actually like lift it up, just like so, move it to the side, pick things up, and lower it down onto here, right in front of us. Uh, and actually, that will totally work. Nice! Oh, I'm actually really happy about this. This is cool. Uh, what we do need to do is actually allow this to um, uh, spool in when we lift it up and spool out when we put it down. And I also need to actually be able to get out of this chair, uh, which is currently something I can't do. So we need that to happen as well. Uh, but honestly, this is actually really cool. It totally works, and I'm happy. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to go ahead and delete uh, this guy right here. Only on one side, actually. We'll have the door only open on this side. Uh, get ourselves an actual pivot. Yes, okay, so one of these. Uh, smash that onto there like this. 
make it green as well because we might as well there we go so that's going to go on there like that we're going to go ahead and grab this section including this all the way down we're going to go ahead and cut it and paste it merge this with this and then we need a um a button i guess actually towards the front here we go a button double-sided two-sided yes uh to go on there just like this two-sided is this one there we go to go on there like this we then need ourselves a switch box here we go which can go underneath just like so and then we attach it all together and that'll be fine actually let's use the other one here we go switch box right there in the center and we'll attach it together and hopefully this will all work out fine so connect this to there and connect this to there uh, electricity is not something we need to do just yet and when we open it I don't know what it should be on value is going to be like 0 0.6 that's what we're going to go with let's see if it works okay minus 0 0.6 that's totally what I meant okay so minus 0 0.6 let's it in Run backwards, do the thing in my bobby. There we go, we can actually get inside, close the thing in my bobby, and we can work on our train car. Excellent! Yeah! Okay, nice. From there, we're actually gonna go ahead and do a few things. Let's get ourselves some handles and smash those into here because I guess we can. So they're gonna go there. We're also gonna go ahead and put one right here as well. There we go. And I might actually do something with handles down here. Um,. But genuinely, I, I don't really know. In fact, actually, delete all of these. And we'll put this guy in here. Uh, adds a little bit of extra detail that we didn't need. And uh, that's great. There you go. Nice. All right. Let me know in the comments down below whether you guys actually really like this. Or whether you don't like this. Um, and, yeah, it'd be kind of interesting to see how you feel about it. But, um, there you go. We've done it. We've actually done it. Bam. Okay. It's, it, it is very simple. But I, I still like it. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. I think I managed to actually do this wrong. Because I think I attached it to the floor instead. Uh, and I wasn't able to actually turn the thing. Uh, but now I can. Okay, fixed it. I fixed it, guys. We did it.